Hello, and we're back. As you can see here, uh, we got inside the hole. Uh, unfortunately, it, the video cut out the section of us getting inside the hole, but... Oh, well. Basically, what you do is you crawl inside the hole, and, uh, I mean, you have to time it to right when he's shooting, like right after he shoots, uh, go in there, and then it'll auto-aim for you. Also, if you brought an explosives guy, well, there you go. There's an alternative route for you. Of course, none of my guys are explosive guys, so uh, it's kind of pointless for me to uh, get it. So... I'll just start heading back, I suppose. But, uh, like I said, that's a secondary route in case you actually brought in an explosive expert with you. It says there's a tunnel digger to the right. And tunnel digger would be explosives. Kind of vague hint, but I guess... Anyway, now let's go ahead and bring Tyke along. I'm going to show you uh, the other thingy. And here's the uh, trap if you go straight left. This isn't really too hard, actually. Uh, Tyke is the like next to slowest or slowest character in the uh, It's War thing. Now, originally I thought that this little brown thing here uh, would set it off, but it doesn't. So, uh, I messed up my infiltrate chance because of that, but uh, I can go ahead and creep along here, and there you go. See? And they're already aggroed, so we just clear away. Just make sure that he's safe. I'm going to go ahead and move squirrel up. But anyway, let's go ahead and resume our little quest here. Squirrel is the fastest character at least, so backtracking isn't as much of a pain compared to most characters. Let's see. So we'll slowly clear away here. There's med free med kit if you need it. I don't. Uh. Unfortunately, things don't end well for me, and I'll explain why when I get there. This is when Fudio decides it wants to stick the middle finger on everybody. Let's shoot this guy. Stop the intruder. Okay, well that's expected. I mean he's a sniper. Come on. And then I have this guy here. He's easy. Now you see there's a guy right between those two little beams there. Unfortunately, he's protected by a uh, mystical power of bad coding, graphical coding. So I have to actually get up closer, and we have to go a little to the side to get him. So, so we'll go ahead and do that. Oops, there we go, a little bit closer. And pew. Okay, now as you can see here, there's one to the left, one to the middle, and one to the right. See? See? And Squirrel is our communications guy, so he has to run down and trigger it in the order of two, one, three which is the order that you saw on the blackboard. Also, if you noticed there, while I was turning the camera, that kept appearing on and off the screen, there is three buttons. So, that lets you know if you're doing something right or not, I suppose. Unfortunately, this is as far as I could get. 
uh, without totally messing it up, and you'll see why in a second. Okay. Notice all of a sudden they auto spawn right next to this gun, and all of a sudden aggro, and totally what the freaking pwn you, and you get a nifty cutscene for failing. So we have to do this all over again. This time it decides to aggro right when I spawn in. That's nice. This isn't going to end well. Anyway, now I'll show off the right path. Right as in not the right way to go, but right as in, you know, going right. And the jeep is full uh, full aggro joy. Of course, I could just go to the barracks, grab some grenades, and throw it, but what's the fun in that? But anyway, that's okay. The mission was botched anyway, and we get to this cutscene again. So, blah 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 blah. Okay, now we've killed this guy. So we'll go ahead and try to skin. See, the main goal here is to catch the jeep at a certain point, and you just run back and run forth, and then just pwn it. If you let it get set, it just pwns you, and you had to hang out, use a hand grenade. See, like you can go up here, and you can take it out, or you can go along the side here, but you just use a cell to your advantage, and you can take him out quite easy. Of course, I got hit a little bit this time compared to the first time, but eh. Also, tight gets engaged if you move them too close to that sign. So let's go ahead and do everything we did before. And we'll continue on from there. Luckily, there isn't much backtracking in this video, so we don't have to worry about. Stupidity, I suppose. Again, for those of you who missed the last video, here's the pattern to launch the rockets. Since Squirrel's too low health to continue from here, we'll go ahead and put Tuck Squirrel safely way over here. And like I said, here's grenades if you need it for that cheap. You don't need them, but if you're wanting to play safe, you know, up to you. But we gotta put Squirrel someplace safe where the Jeep will pwn him. And make sure, you know, he's not a linguist, so he can't use it. So make sure he's nice and safe. We'll put him at the spawn. Uh, I don't think I record now looking at this length here, I might not have recorded it properly, and if I didn't, well, blah. hopefully I did though if I didn't well er, I apologize and uh and it's appearing I might not have anyway, use cook heat yeah, 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 don't care, wait on it, charge, see they fired a certain pattern so you can. Kind of careful there. Anyway, that doesn't aggro. Uh, as you can see here, more monster, more guys spawn. They don't aggro; they just spawn. Uh, I'll see if I can, if I caught him or not. Uh, there's one guy that wa that runs around like an idiot with his head cut off uh, because 3DO put him in a weird spot. We'll, we'll go back here. And see, so here's more ammo and stuff if you need it. And you'll notice, like, one guy just all of a sudden run around. Yeah, there you go. Here's one guy. He just runs around like a, like a spaz <laughs> for whatever reason. And then he stops right here. No reason why. He just does. And then we keep going. This is the shorter of the two of the paths. And you see, here's some more aggro. Uh, we keep going. And uh, 
think there's even more aggro after this point. Yeah, we're getting near the end of the tunnel here. Yeah, we're at the end of the tunnel. So, uh, yeah, that's the uh, right side of the path if you're curious about it. And uh, go ahead and uh, I will come back when I do a successful run. So, uh, later guys, and uh, thank you.